welcome to another video and in this one we're taking a tour of nvidia broadcast if you've got an nvidia rtx based card say a 2080 or a 3080 then this piece of software might be useful to you it does two things it can improve your audio and it can improve your camera settings as well if you've got an older camera like a webcam uh, then this may be useful it may also be useful to you if you're in low light as well and could improve your sound if you happen to be in a noisy house perhaps the dishwasher in the background or perhaps your pc fan runs too loud like mine does a lot of the time this software might be useful to you and not forgetting the earlier gtx based cards as well if you've got a 1080 card then you can actually use some software called rtx voice which brings some of the audio benefits don't let the name confuse you rtx voice will work on gtx cards um, and we'll talk about the uh, audio improvements that it can bring and as well as the camera improvements and some of the little tricks that it can also bring to the table that even if you've got the best camera maybe bit of fun to play with so let's talk about that in a bit more detail first of all what do you need you're going to need the nvidia broadcast software and goes without saying an nvidia rtx card for this um so links for these are in the description of this video as is my discord link as well so if you've got any questions or comments um either drop a message in the comments below or head over to discord and find me there give me uh, a bell also, you may even find me on twitch.tv slash streams. If I'm live, feel free to drop me a message there as well. So we're going to take a look at the website. You need to download the NVIDIA broadcast software from this website. Uh, and what you will find is that if you don't have a, an RTX based card, it's basically going to not let you install it. So no issues there. But if you do have an RTX card, try this out. Click download, install it, and what it will do is install a little app which will look a little bit like this. As I said, this can be split into two parts. I'm not going to really talk about the speaker aspects of this, but more focus on the benefits that it can bring to your microphone setup and your camera setup. Starting with the audio, I don't actually use NVIDIA Broadcast for my mic because I use alternative technology for that, which I'll work briefly talk about shortly um, but this may be useful to you if you happen to have some issues with your audio your background audio in this example what we've got currently is you can hear me talking through my normal audio setup but in a minute I'm going to switch over to using my raw mic input so let's do that now and see the difference immediately my existing sound versus my raw sound so now you're hearing me through the basic Yeti Nano sound and you can probably already hear the noise in the background on this and it's, it's, it obviously isn't good so we're going to try and fix that using NVIDIA Broadcast first of all we're going to try and add this effect and we're going to select noise removal and now can you tell the difference between how it has sounded before and how it sounds now I'd hope that there's an improvement there then we're going to try a different effect one of the good things about the newer versions of NVIDIA Broadcast is you can chain effects. So whereas before you could only really select one option at a time, you can now chain effects. Not that important with the microphone because originally there was only one effect and that was noise removal. But now they've added this new effect and that's called room echo removal. And again, you might be in a uh, an audio setup where you you get a bit of echo in the background. So again, you can enable this. And now you'll hear a subtle difference between how it sounded before to how it sounded now. I say subtle, it might not be, I can't hear it, but I'm guessing you're hearing it now on this video. So play around with this. If you're if you're struggling with the, with your sound settings and you do have an RTX based card, give this a go. Um, the alternative, if you don't have an RTX based card, but you have a GTX based card, there is some software called RTX Voice. You can also download that from the NVIDIA website link in the description and uh, despite the name it does work on GTX based cards it doesn't quite have the same level of effects I believe in the RTX voice it only has noise removal but again might be useful to you now saying all of this I don't actually use the Nvidia broadcast because I've now found a solution that I'm happy with um, at the time when Nvidia broadcast when I was testing it 
I found that it it made my uh, PC a little bit laggy when I was playing games, and I stopped using it. Um, but I believe they've improved the performance of it now, so it should be better. Try it out. So going back to what I actually use in my current setup, uh, having tried NVIDIA Broadcast and other software like Crisp.ai, which I still use for sort of work calls and so on, but not so much for my streaming, um, what I actually found was that there is actually a noise suppression filter already inside OBS. You just need to add it to your audio source. So that's what I did. I went into OBS, I clicked on the audio source, selected the filter, and the one I'm using is called RN Noise, and it's actually really good. It's the one that I use on my, my video record recordings and on my streaming as well. Um, and I'm, in fact, going to switch back to that now. So now I'm back on my normal audio settings where I'm running it through RN Noise, and I'm guessing the quality is decent enough. Anyway, so that's that's the microphone ability that's within NVIDIA Broadcast. Now we're going to have a bit more fun looking at the camera options. Now, for this, what I've done is I've actually set up a second camera. My usual camera is a Sony A3100. For this test, I'm actually going to use a, an older webcam, basic webcam. This is a, a Logitech B525 HD camera. Uh, I think the maximum this is capable of is 720p, and it's got autofocus on it. So it it's the camera that I started off streaming with, um, and I've since upgraded, but this this camera could be useful for, for various things. But as I say, these features are also useful for low light. So let's have a look at this. This is the camera that I have set up. And uh, again, this one allows you to chain effects, which is actually quite useful here. I'll show you what some of the features are in a minute. Um, but as you can see, I'm running this webcam through this NVIDIA broadcast software. It looks a bit grainy already. And if I adjust the lighting in here as well, like that, uh, you can see that it's it's not, not the greatest, not the greatest of cameras um, compared to sort of the quality of the other camera in, in low light. It's still, the, the other camera is clearly obviously higher quality. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go into here and we're going to select video noise removal and this is the new feature that they've added in this most recent version of nvidia broadcast so we click this we're going to turn this on and already we're starting to see some improvements around the edges and uh, what we're now going to do is we're going to go to the uh, add effects option again and this time we're going to select perhaps a bit of background blur just to kind of reduce the background do you see that it will also filter kicking in there but we're just going to add a bit more of a blur to the background like so so you can see now how you can start to take a basic camera and just eke out a little bit more quality from it using these settings now compared to say perhaps you might have a mobile phone with a better quality camera you might actually be better off looking at other solutions like ndi um, but this is certainly something that might give you a little bit more bang for your buck before you have to look at buying and upgrading the camera so anyway i'm going to change my lighting back to how it usually is that looks a bit too bright compared to how it usually is on this camera it looks a bit washed out doesn't it but uh anyway i'm going to remove these filters and now I'm going to show you some of the other features that this has got. Again, you can adjust these for strength, uh, the sort of the amount of um, impact that it will have on your processing. So, for example, you can adjust between performance and quality there. Have a go, see what you can do with it. Um, but as I say, why I'm using NVIDIA Broadcast is not for the video noise removal. It's for this background removal feature. And I love it. It's brilliant. I'm going to turn it on right now on this camera and see how good it looks. Well, that's that's possible. So this is obviously using the NVIDIA broadcast. So, um, sorry, the um, RTX card at this point. The GTX cards aren't quite good enough to run this sort of level of, of um, processing while doing other things. Um, but what this means is you can do some really cool little tricks. Uh, and I am going to show you some of those tricks now. So obviously this is like a effectively like a green screen effect. So if I switch over to, in fact, I'm going to switch over away from this camera and switch over to my 
uh, my ordinary camera, in fact. Can I do that? No. Can I do this? There we go. Right, so I'm now using my... I think I'm using my real camera. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Anyway, I'm running this through... Yeah, that's actually my, my main camera. So I am now going to try something else. If I switch over to this screen, you can now see uh, multiple screens at the same time you can see my main input there you can see the nvidia broadcast there with the background removal you can see a piece of software down here called snap camera like by, made by the same people that do snapchat but this is a, a windows based piece of software that you can run and add filters to your cameras so now we're going to start getting a bit silly with this so if i go over to here and select uh what am i going to select on this example um what I'm going to try and to do is I'm going to change this panel in the bottom right corner so that it is using NVIDIA Broadcast. So let's do that first. You can now see that that is, whoops, that's way too big. Let me resize that down to a normal size. You can now see there, that is my camera running through NVIDIA Broadcast and has the green screen effect on it. Now we're going to get silly with this. We're going to start rooting stuff in. So we're going to start doing things like, let's add the cartoon eyes back on here. Uh, and now look at that. You can now see my original source in the top right. You can see the NVIDIA broadcast software applying the green screen effect. You can see the original snap camera filter running down here. And you can see the final output here coming back into OBS as a new video source. Um, and you just that alone i mean you can get really silly with this have a look at what i'm doing with my stream Isn't that fun? Anyway, over to you. What are you going to use this for? Will you find a use for the green screen effect? How are you planning to use it? Drop some comments below and tell me how you're planning to use it. And that's it for this video. It's a whistle stop tour of the NVIDIA broadcast software. Hope you find some use for it. And I will see you again in the next video. Right, anything else? Should we go to... What's flashing? What does the flashing mean? Uh, <laughs> that was a weird scare, come on.